This standing hip flexor stretch is a great alternative to the half kneeling version of this done on the floor. So if you don't wanna come down to the floor, you can do this standing. And while you don't have to hold on to anything for support, personally, I like to hold a wall or counter or back of a chair just for that little bit of support. Either way, we're going to start in a staggered stance. So start with your feet hip width apart and then step one foot back behind you. And you might be thinking, oh, this is very similar to if I were to do like a split squat. Yes and no, right? We don't really care for this stretch, how low we get to the floor. We care more about the positioning of our hips. So from the staggered stance, first, if you had a tail, think about tucking that tail between your legs in this position. Squeeze your glutes on the back side, that back leg side, and we're now holding this posterior pelvic tilt. From here, wrap your backside's hip forward because it will probably wanna open out to the side. Wrap it forward so that your hips are both squared off, pointing forward. And now hold. So that tilt of our pelvis and the squeezing of our glutes should create a stretch that you can feel in your hip flexors and into your thigh. If this is enough for you, fabulous, hold this. If you need a little bit more or wanna challenge yourself a little bit further with this, then you can lower down and see where you get to a place of a nice tension level, but not pain. Hold this, breathe through it. And just a quick tip, if you are playing with lowering down a little bit lower, you may need to adjust the positioning of your feet, right? If I had started with my feet too close together, started here and thought, oh, I'm gonna lower down. Now my front knee's a little bit uncomfortable. It's so far forward. So I might step it back a little bit, get back into position, and then lower down from there.